Hi, it's Ben. Um, I'm going to make a kind of start of the year video. Somebody emailed me a week or so ago saying, I see you kind of coming out with these emails with all these different projects that you're involved with. And, you know, I would really appreciate it if you could kind of sum up what all this stuff that's going on, because quite honestly, it doesn't make much sense. And I completely get that. So this is my making sense video for 2016. It's a really, really fascinating time. Um, I mean, for me personally, I've, I've spent the last two and a half years, really, since we moved into this house, really kind of contracting. I've stripped stuff away. I've gone from, I mean, right, just before we moved here, I had a business with two, three, four people working for me. Um, at the time we moved here, I then reduced that down to zero. So it's just me in the business. And um, Sally and I have also been really on a journey of, of removing things from our life that we don't need, removing outgoings, costs, expenditure that we don't need to be spending on, and really focusing on what actually matters. And that's really the, I guess, the whole theme around everything that I'm gonna say right now. Um, I spent a lot more time outside, spent a lot of time with each other in the garden, growing our own vegetables, keeping ducks and chickens and all kinds of wonderful stuff, which isn't terribly relevant to, to you, but um, it's a bit of a, a backdrop, I guess. So there, there's something very, very important that's that's been happening over that period. And it's really about kind of narrowing in, focusing in, centering on what really matters. And I feel like I've got to a kind of breakthrough with that stuff. And in fact, there's going to be a project about that that I'll tell you about in a minute. So let me give you a sketch of what Ben's up to in 2016. And this is all stuff that you may wish to be involved with, or you may not wish to be involved with. And if not, just unsubscribe from my list. It's very easy. There's a link on the bottom of every email. Um, I'm hoping that what I'm about to tell you is going to be interesting and inspiring and will make you want to uh, to keep paying attention. So, um, open source marketing is the, the big project from 2015, and that's going to continue. I don't know which way it's going to go, but it, in principle, it's something I really, really believe in. So, what is open source marketing? It's applying the principles of the open source software movement to the marketing system instead of the software system. So, um, it, you know, whereas say WordPress is a system for creating and publishing websites, open source marketing is a system for doing marketing. So we've got our models and we've got our processes just like any software does. And um, I made some really good progress on that last year. And I really want to, to keep that pushing forward. So this is really gonna be quite advanced marketing I guess, um, and that's going to be supporting the the role that that I started defining in Web Design is Dead. If you haven't read that, get hold of it, benhunt.com slash book slash download. You can download it from there. Um, and that role is the marketing strategist. And this really is the, the new, you know, this is what the previous web designer, web master role needs to evolve into and um, if you're a marketing professional right now if you're a web designer right now this is one of the directions that you may want to move into to be a marketing strategist and um, I've I've just completed a a web design project from a marketing strategist perspective and it's absolutely fascinating I'm loving this so open source marketing will carry on I want to keep making it better and I want more and more people to be involved in it um, but of course it needs to be one coherent kind of system so you know keep checking in this is going to get better over the next few years right um, ethical marketing group is something that I started towards the end of 2015 that's something I'm really passionate about and uh, and the core of that is really that we create a, a standard for ethical marketing. I really think the world is ready for this. In online marketing in particular, it's been dominated by cowboys. It's been a Wild West scenario for far too long. 
and it's time that the good honest townspeople got together and said well do you know what we don't need these cowboys anymore okay let's let's agree um good practice for doing business together and particularly when it comes to things like courses and digital products um we you know we want to get out of the the syndicate kind of model um where i mean bottom line is that people say things and do things that aren't honest and that you can't trust and i've got nothing against anyone making money right i'm quite into that myself i've you know i've um spent like i say with contracting over the past couple of years i've really i've earned less and less and less money over time and that's absolutely fine um this year i would like to earn some more i'll be quite honest with you um i've been around this process with a few people i've got friends who've said to me ben you're a nutter if you don't you know if you're not trying to earn tens hundreds of thousands per month you know you need to be raking in money i'm thinking well what am i going to do with all that money you can't take it with you um so i've really done some deep soul searching about this and i for me um it's not it's not a need i don't need to be uh materially really wealthy because there's, there's far more to life than that so um having said that i haven't got a problem with earning money as long as you do it the right way so that that's all cool so ethical marketing group will carry on there's another offshoot of that that i want to set up as well this year um i won't give you the name of it just yet because it's not ready to i'm not even starting on it yet but this is going to be like a kind of a counter syndicate thing you know where all the the big names were all on their lists that you know the big internet marketers um get together and they they manage their release of launches for their their own products their own training courses and um and they all support each other you know they all say oh you got to get on this course it's amazing now they may not even know that that course is amazing and the course may not even be amazing all right now what that does is it it creates an awful lot of noise around the whole sector for a particular minority a particular small group so what i want to do is to create a new channel that is for the people by the people where we together review courses that any of us can do and 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 the big ones and the big boys courses um we review them and we rate them for the quality and originality of the material the value for money that they offer and how ethical and honest they are as well so that i want to create like a marketplace where people can go to and and actually find out which courses are worth doing and which products are worth buying okay so that's not going to happen for a few months but just letting you know um the next aspect of open source marketing as well um is what what we're calling web pro 2 and what that is is that's a model for the client professional relationship all right and this really really ties together quite closely with open source marketing all right but this isn't to do with the 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 way we do marketing this is the way we sell marketing the way we provide our services to paying clients um web design is dead goes into quite a lot of detail about what's wrong with the old model um web pro version 2 looks ahead to what we could be doing differently and I've done videos about this you've probably seen them um if you look on open source marketing look open source marketing project.org look down the right hand side there's an introduction to web pro 2 there so what this is all about is saying okay I'm not going to ask you to give me a pile of money and then I'm going to do this kind of big bang project and then launch it and then that's it and you just have to hope and pray because you've taken all the risk you have to hope and pray that this this thing's going to work um that's not that's not good enough we can do a lot better than that uh so what web pro 2 says is you're going to pay me um at cost for to cover my time while i build something for you but in fact the real um i'm going to get compensated when it works because any project that should be done that deserves to be done merits being done any any marketing campaign should then by definition create new profit of some kind it should create new value that hasn't been created yet and when that value is created if i'm creating profit for my client then i can share in that profit um in such a way that it's 
far more encouraging for the client and far more encouraging for me or any of us, you know, or a group of providers. But generally, it'll be one person, which will be the marketing strategist. So with that in mind, I actually launched a a new website for a client yesterday. It's onlinevisas.com. This is a US-based immigration lawyer. Um, So what to say about that? I've been working on it for about three months, intensive SEO work, running off a very, very clean Thrive theme, good typography. Um, I'm, I'm going to have a lot more to say about this, and I really want to teach you every single thing that I've done about this. Um, I'll come back to that in a minute. Um, so onlinevisas.com, go and check it out, um, see how it works. But what's really interesting about that is that this is the first Web Pro 2 project that I've done. And I'm learning a lot from it as we go. The This client paid me a modest amount for the strategy work and a modest amount to get to this point of relaunching the website. There, There is more payment to follow. Uh, so this is a, a five-figure project in total, okay? Um, there's more payment to follow when the website hits particular targets, i.e. generates leads for people who want to apply for US visas, primarily. Now, what this means is that when the client has finished paying me, this around $30,000 in total, they will have already made that $30,000 back in additional sales. Okay? So you can see how a client is going to love that kind of proposition. So they pay a, a, a nominal amount to start with, but then... You know, they don't pay this full amount until they've already made that full amount back. And then at the end of that, we'll then move on to another kind of profit sharing um, kind of arrangement where it's it's in their interest to keep paying me a percentage or some kind of, you know, cut of the growth that the website achieves. And it's an incentive for me to keep working on it because of that same reason. So a lot more to follow about this. I'm going to write up a full case study um, and do it in depth. Another project that's come out now. This is that. Um, this is really the big one. Um, this is, in a way, that all roads have led to this point over the last few years. So, um, you may be aware that I was working on a project called Cracking Content last year, and I was going to create a book. It was first called Killer Content, then Cracking Content, um, and I've interviewed over twenty-five people trying to figure out what it is, you know, trying to profile in a way. Um, When you create content that's compelling, that gets lots of attention and gets action as well, what is it? What is it about that content that does that? And I've interviewed a bunch of people and I've done a lot of soul searching about it. And really it came down to two or three main things. One is you, right? You've got to know yourself. Where are you? Who are you? Right. What do you stand for? Um, what's your place in the world? Then you've got to be in the in the right place at the right time as well. So time and space are very important. Um, the space bit being, you need to find your place in the world. You need to find your niche. You need to find your um, your environment where you're going to flourish. And the timing is very important as well. You don't want to be rehashing stuff that is old and you don't want to be too far out in the future doing talking about random stuff what you want to be talking about um, this is really an essential to marketing is um, you want to be talking about things that are that whose time has come or whose moment is just about to arrive right Um, I think Marty Neumeyer in Zag says Find a parade and get in front of it. You know what parade is waiting for you to lead it in order to start. Um, Eugene Schwartz says in Breakthrough Advertising, he says that you know the absolutely ideal market that you want is something that's a problem or an issue that's almost breaking into people's consciousness on a large scale, but not quite. You know, you know when you see a product or an offer out there on the market and you go, why didn't I think of that? Everyone needs that. Why, you know, why has nobody done that before? That's what you want. Okay, so 
so how do you do that? Well, you've, you do that by being in your right place, right? Your environment, your soil, where you're going to grow well. You want to get your roots down deep. You want to be connected. So you, you can't fly around. Right? Know who your tribe is. Know who your people are and connect yourself intimately, deeply into that tribe. Okay. And then when I, I believe that when you do that, like for me, you know, marketing with ethics is, is extremely important. Okay. Um, and, and yet it's more than that, which I'll explain in a second. Um, when you do that, when an idea comes through you and you channel an idea, you can be pretty confident that that idea is also starting to bubble up for other people in your tribe as well. And we're not talking geographic tribe. We're talking, you know, your tribe can be thousands of connections all over the world, right? Um, tribes used to be geographic. They used to be physical. They're not now. And so really what this is coming down to is knowing who you are and what you're, where you belong, what you should be doing, right? And it's not niche marketing. It's not really to do with marketing. This is, this is deeper than that. This can apply to academics. This can apply to whatever we want to do as people in our lives. Um, so really what I've been doing is peeling this away. Okay, so it's not about content marketing. We know that, although it completely applies. It's not about personal branding, although it completely applies to personal branding. But this is about doing content that's your right content. This is about doing your branding that's so natural that it just flows. And to stop trying to paste on something that isn't you. Stop trying to act out something that isn't you. So the word that's come through to me for what this thing is that we're talking about is genius. The ancient Greeks and the Romans used this word genius. It's nothing to do with high IQ, although it may be connected, but your genius for, for the Romans, your genius was almost like a, um, like a demon, right? Like a, a kind of, like, or a deity, a kind of um, a spirit that partnered with you, that walked with you through your life and that you could tap into to help guide what you were doing, okay? Um, so your genius is your place, your path, your direction that you should be walking in. It's not a destination. It's not somewhere you get to. It's, a, it's your guiding light. And I, it's my hope that each of us has our genius. And when I've been peeling away and, you know, I did articles like Finding Your Why, thanks to Simon Sinek's book, um, Start With Why, you know, that, that was really a clue to that. And this is really fascinating. I'm not going to talk too much about it, but when I've looked back through my life, at the, the times in my life when I've been motivated, inspired, energized, you know, when I've really felt like I've had vision, there's been something in common of all those times. And in fact, I can go all the way back through childhood to the stories that have inspired me and the dreams that have inspired me. And there's something in common for all of those things. And for me, I'll tell you briefly, for me, my genius is to explore and share ideas of how we together can live better. How can we do things better? And that's, the, that's for me, that may be the same as yours. Your genius doesn't have to be unique. The Japanese also, by the way, have this, this, this same concept. They call it ikigai. Ikigai is your genius. It's the reason why you get out of bed in the morning. So, uh, cracking content has evolved into something like unleash your genius, discover your genius, something along those lines. Um, I'm not going to rush it. I'm going to interview a lot more people. and um, But this should be be done in 2016 as well and the most important thing of all of this is that knowing that for myself knowing what my genius is has helped me and is helping me without any effort whatsoever to know should I be doing that should I not be doing that right how do I spend my time who do I talk to who do I unfriend you know it's Everything has become so much simpler in the past two or three months. 
since I've been conscious of this thing and held it in my mind. So um, that's that's just that's going to be amazing. Okay. Now, does it mean that you know I haven't got anything to say to marketing? Haven't got anything to say to web design, etc. No, it doesn't at all because everything from web design is from scratch from the first articles I did in 2004 about how to lay out web pages that's the same it's exploring and sharing ideas of how we can do things better usability conversion rate optimization SEO um, how to be rich today all of these things that I've done are all an expression of that thing it's that genius trying to express itself through my life in any way it can it just keeps trying to spill out so what I'm going to do now is just ride that I'm going to use its energy and work with it okay enough about that um, one more other idea that came out literally last week um, I had to take Sally to hospital she had uh, she's ruptured her Achilles tendon and um, she she was in plaster for a few weeks and we went to have that removed and to have it checked out so I was waiting around for a little while and there was there were a few threads on Facebook where I, I got involved um, discussing vigorously um, it was in to do with the area of coaching and the dynamics of coaching the way power works in coaching okay and there's one particular person where you know I w I felt very strongly that they were criticizing others being judgmental about others but unable to take that same kind of criticism themselves and it really got me thinking that wow this is a pattern that I've seen loads and loads and loads, right? I was in a cult myself 20 odd years ago and, you know, I've been through organized religion, um, lots of personal development stuff and organized personal development. And, and I've seen this, this pattern again and again and again. Now, remember, what's my genius to explore and share ideas of how we can do things better. OK, so I look at that and I say, wow, there's a pattern there. And I wonder what we can do. How can we make this better for people? So literally this happened in 60 minutes between arriving at the hospital when this idea was going around my head. Um, and all I had was my phone. And I went on Facebook and I said, I've got this idea for a project. I need a writer because I know one of the problems for me is splitting myself too thin, trying to do too many things and being unable to achieve them all. So I thought, I'm not going to write this, but what I want to do is to give the seed of the idea and you know have somebody else maybe do the interviews and do some, and create the book so I went on social media within 10 minutes three people had said I would love to write this you know I, I, I literally just did a, a very short post um, saying I want somebody who's interested in psychology religion cults um, coaching and and has got a rebellious streak okay because that's part of who I am as well that's part of my Robin Hood thing my rebel thing my V for Vendetta kind of you know desire is it drives some dissatisfaction with the way that things are and how can we do things better in a way that's better for everybody not just the individual okay so that's gonna be interesting so a new model for for creating products creating books um, I think we're gonna call it the guru trap Okay, which is basically this this whole mechanic that I'm sure many of us have seen, whether it's in uh, with marketing gurus or religious gurus or personal development gurus or coaches, right? Where you have to give up, sacrifice your personal control, your personal identity, your personal responsibility to a leader in order to get the benefits of what that leader is offering you. Okay? You have to give up your personal authority to them, bow down to them in order to get what they're promising. And what that means is that they get to dump on you or beat on you. And um, there's something in my heart that tells me that you shouldn't have to do that in order to evolve, progress, attract money, whatever it is you want to do. Okay, So that's just the thought... And, and, you know, this is exactly what I'm talking about with the genius thing. It's like when you, when you have those connections, when you are sensitive and aware, 
when an idea like that comes up, you can bet that that same idea is coming up for other people around the same time that they are ready for it, the world is ready for it. Okay, so that'll be the Guru Trap book as well. Finally, final thing I want to tell you about, and thank you for sitting through this far. Um, revisiting web design from scratch. It's really interesting that the, the strap line for web design from scratch for a while now has been um, design and build websites the right way or design and publish websites the right way. And I've been you know, really thinking about this because I haven't put a lot of effort into web design from scratch for a while. It's still getting between 1,000 and 2,000 visits per day. Um, but it's like, it feels like I've gone on a lot further down the path and become less interested because as I've gone deeper, I've been less interested in the, you know, the the more surface stuff of how to design and publish websites. And of course, you know, I wrote web design, um, web design is dead. And that saying that this whole, you know, uh, discipline of being a complete web designer developer is now redundant and we need to move on and do something else now. So, you know, I haven't really been publishing as much as I used to on web design uh, from scratch, which is a, a huge shame. Like if I'd have known in 2004, I know now um, that thing could have been absolutely massive. But um, I, you know, I took my foot off the gas. I got interested in other things, which is me. That's what I do. You know, my thing is exploring and sharing ideas. It's very difficult for me to keep focused on one thing. So I've been looking for a while and think, well, how can, you know, how can I do business? How can I actually make some money um, while providing a service? And it has to be consistent with my genius that guides me, which is to explore and share ideas of how we together can do things better. Now, web design from scratch fits with that. And this is, I've realized some important things. And one of them is that no matter how advanced you have got or you think you've got down your particular path, there's always people behind you. There's always people a long way behind you who really want to know some of the stuff that you know, even the most basic stuff. Right? Just because I think that the way that we should design and build websites has moved on doesn't mean there aren't millions of people who want to know how to design and build websites. And who better to help them to, you know, to know how to do it the right way than me? You know, I've been through that process. I've done my time. I started in 94. I've done my time hacking websites together the old way, and I know why it doesn't work. Um, at the same time, I've got the skills that, that you need. I've just done it with online visas, right? But that worked a very different way. Excuse me. My alarm telling me to put the ducks away right um, so I've just done it with online visas I've been through this process of planning it I, I've you know I've done the design the graphic design that needed to be done I've done the um, information architecture that needed to be done I've created and built the entire thing in WordPress myself I've done it all myself it's been absolutely fascinating and this is only, you know, we went live last night. This isn't, and this isn't the end of the process. This is the beginning of the process. This is childbirth. It's like, and now parenting starts at childbirth. You know, that previous few months isn't the parenting side. It, now's where the work starts. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, we're going to create a, an online, a, an ongoing membership for Web Design From Scratch, just called Web Design From Scratch Premium. It's going to be, the full price is going to be $19 a month. So, and, and that will just get you access to all the premium material. So I'm going to do, for example, a complete comprehensive HTML tag reference, right? Which sounds so simple and so basic, but thousands of people want to know this stuff, right? I'm going to work with um, my esteemed colleague, Jonathan Perez. He's going to do the complete CSS reference. We're going to do a lot of stuff on WordPress. We're going to do a lot of stuff on what should you put on your homepage? What should you put on your about page? You know, literally back to basics, web design from scratch, but the right way. Okay. So, you know, do you still need to know HTML and CSS? Yes, you do. 
I needed to use a lot of HTML and CSS to build online visas. As, even though you know I did it so rapidly, I needed to, to use those skills. And if you know those skills, you've got a lot more at your fingertips. Um, sure, the themes do a lot for you and the plugins do a lot for you and thank God for all those things, but um, I'm rambling now. But so look out literally in the next few days, Web Design from Scratch Premium is gonna happen. Um, we're gonna have an early bird pricing for it. So um, if you get in, you'll get it for half the price, $9.50 per month. That's about five pounds something if you're in the UK, about six euros per month um, in Europe. And um, we're just gonna keep creating new great material for it. And there'll be, for, for, for everything, there'll be an introduction that everybody can see, and then there will be premium content that only, you can only see if you're a premium subscriber. So look out for that, jump on that when it comes out, hopefully at the end of the week. Um, so that's it, that's it for me for 2016. I hope um, that some of what I've talked about resonates for you. Yeah, and uh, maybe you wanna be part of it. I hope that you want to keep following um keep in touch with what i'm doing for the rest of this year um thanks for your attention for half an hour it, i really do appreciate it and here's to a great year